This is the one I really, really am watching. And NVIDIA, you know, NVIDIA looks super good. Right? Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, did very, very well today. So we'll talk about the pivots in a second. So 10% move uh, in the NASDAQ, in the QQQs, uh, off the lows of March the 15th, right? This is going on to week three, big 10% move. The question was, well, what was gonna happen this week? And obviously this big area of supply that we talked about in the nightly video, on the weekend video, was gonna be a very, very uh, important uh, choice of either defense or reclaim. And obviously we know what happened here with the closing prices, big, big move again, 200 points on the NASDAQ composite. But the, the story uh, going into uh, this week, right? If you watched uh, last night's video, was those stocks that had the big moves, your Amazons of the world, your Teslas of the world, your Microsofts of the world, everything basically we talked about uh, on yesterday's video, right? That was the focal point. We didn't know if they were gonna go today, we didn't know if they were gonna go this week, but the point is, again, it's not guessing, right? It's all about uh, being prepared for price action and letting it uh, wait and confirm. And when you saw today's action, um, and again, I know a lot of the retail crowd is, uh, you know, really, really concentrated on the, the GameStops of the world uh, and the AMCs of the world. Congratulations. Listen, you, you got your win, right? You got your win. This is a, a phenomenal uh, two-week move. You should be incredibly uh, happy, ecstatic, all those uh, all those words, but the most important thing is just know when you win, right? Know when you win. They're not going to the moon. They're going, you know, they went higher. They're going higher. You're, you're in tremendous momentum. Enjoy this momentum, but be smart about it. Take some money off. Uh, BBY, another name. Uh, again, like I said, we'll get into the pivots in a second. Uh, went absolutely bananas today. Uh, it started on the heels of the GameStop, the heel of uh, the AMCs of the world. But when you saw the, the call buying, right, the aggressive call buying uh, that came into the name, they were coming for uh, the 30s, they were coming for the 80s, that, I mean, for the 80 calls for January. I mean, it's a little ambitious, but that's what really uh, starts to get these things off. But, but the major story continued to be the names that had the big runs last week that rested and then continued today. And that was a major key today. And it's setting up some phenomenal action for tomorrow. And we talked about Tesla. And, and let me just say this. I love Tesla. I, I don't think anybody on the planet, for the exception of Elon and all his offsprings, love Tesla more. I, I love Tesla. Long, short, and different. But I tell you one thing. They have, when this is all said and done, and we don't know how this is going to end, but when this is all said and done, this company is very, very creative. For the, <laughs> from all the, oops, we leaked our earnings, or oops, it was an internal memo that got leaked, Oops, 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 right? For a company that is so advanced and so and so amazing, they, they sure as hell do something really asinine, right? And today was something that I personally have never seen since I've been on social media before. Usually when a company um, comes out with a two, well, any type of stock split, right? Uh, usually what they do in the, the series of events is they go in front of the board they're boarded, you know, they're, they're, they're bored and they say, hey, look, we believe on the best interests of the shareholders, we want to uh, issue more shares so we can make it more attractive. So we, you know, we, we want to split it two for one, three for one, four for one. Recently, you saw uh, Amazon and Google do 20 for one splits, but you never see ever, 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 ever. You never see companies tweet and hey, by the way, we're gonna send, you know, we're sending, um, you know, we're sending a memo to the board to see if they if they want to split again. Wait, what? The person who's in charge of the Tesla Twitter account, before you press send, I'm just curious. What did you think was gonna to happen to the price of the stock when you sent out this tweet? And yada yada yada, that's what happened. Tesla went out of its mind. Shoot first, ask questions later. When people see things like like split or equity, private equity talk or or chatter, blah blah blah. They, they don't care, right? Squeeze first, shoot first, ask questions later. That's exactly what happened. But I, I think the more important plays of the day 
were the names that had the big, big runs last week. They consolidated for two, three days, and they were ready to go. We talked about Amazon on the weekend video, how important this 200-day moving average was. The stock exploded today. I think the stock tomorrow, well, if the, again, assuming the market continues, the market could have a res day. But in, if this thing consolidates, you could see 3,400, 3,450s uh, next measured potential, right? A name like Microsoft, again, we talked about on the weekend video, it rested, had nice consolidated rest. We saw today right from the opening gate, stock took out last week's channel that 305 306 level they started coming for the 310 310, uh, 310 calls right out the gate we saw 312 and a halves and the stock just went absolutely ballistic again this thing confirms tomorrow i think this thing could see 314 315 tomorrow um you know just just really really strong moves you had the meme stock zone nuts uh you had um, you had um, the, the, the semiconductors waking back up again. And this is, this is really what a violent bull market action looks like, it, which is so ironic because, again, up to two weeks ago, we had a very, very aggressive sell bias action, which was great as well. So the market continues to be good. Uh, like I said, from Thursday's video into Friday, you don't need to be creative, right? You might not want to look at the stocks that are up 15, 20 days in a row, but there's a lot of names coming out of the channels. Like I believe Microsoft goes higher. I think maybe Tesla go, rests again, but Tesla looks like it wants to see that, you know, wants to see that really big aggressive channel here, 1120, 1150, that looks higher. Amazon, I think tomorrow, if this thing dips into rising support, I think this thing sees 3450. This is the one I really, really am watching. And NVIDIA, you know, NVIDIA looks super good, right? Maybe it doesn't go tomorrow. Maybe it doesn't go the next day. But I'm telling you, man, this thing is consolidating. It's consolidating nicely off, off the last supply, off the last run. And they are coming for, when I say they, I don't know who they are, but everybody uses the word they, so why am I any different? But they were coming for the 300 weeklies when the stock was at 274 today, nonstop, 290, 300. So this is definitely one to watch uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, Google, I like this Google, right? Looks ready to go as well. It's consolidating the same way as NVIDIA was consolidating, as Microsoft was consolidating. This damn thing looks really, really good, right? I mean, it's one of those names that, again, it doesn't trade as great as you'd like, but when this thing consolidates, boy, this thing consolidates. Even this BBBY, right, broke out today aggressively. Listen, any dips tomorrow into rising 60-minute support, and if this thing starts confirming today's channels, why can't this thing see 27, 28, 30, right? To the moon, diamond hands, right? All, all that stuff. This is the market. This is the, a hot market right now. So if you're going to be in a hot market, take advantage uh, of the hot name. So the market looks good. You know, market looks good. Um, again, is it possibility we get a quiet day tomorrow, a little bit of a rest day? Yeah, sure, everything's possible. But the point is, again, get your research down. Look for the names that are coming out of tight channels. And when these things confirm, especially with option order flow, continuing one behind the other, behind the other, behind the other, those are the names that might be the ones that really can take off. So let's talk about it today, right? Uh, again, it was all about technology today one by one by one, uh, 305, right? 305 and a half, 306 needs to build on Microsoft. Again, we talked about it a few minutes ago. This was a great, great move. There wasn't, there wasn't even a down tick to 310, how awesome the, the, the move was. It literally just came out of the channel and just went straight up on, on I mean, look, look at that first candle. Look at this first candle, man. This was awesome. 306 to 310 on the first candle, just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal move. On Microsoft, I still like this thing goes higher. Uh, Intel 52 needs to build, never got there. Uh, this was definitely the move of the day and the most important move of the day because it reclaimed the 200 day moving average. It, it, stocks don't reclaim big levels every single day. And this one was right with the word go, 3330, 200 day uh, needs to build. Amazon was awesome today, absolutely awesome. Closed right at the high of the day. Uh, took out the 3330 and just literally closed uh, within a dollar of the high of the day. Just an absolutely just boss move. I think this thing sees 3,400, 3,450 uh, before this uh, story is told. LRCX again got rejected for the third time. Uh, 557, GoDaddy never got to this 86,450 base. Uh, 84, well, here's Microsoft, 308,40s, 310 next stop. That's exactly where it went. 
I uh, here comes uh, Amazon Google I love this Google it's just a matter of when uh, this snow another perfect example again option order flow again I didn't think it was going to extend this much this afternoon but it did uh, 232 needs to build they're coming for the 340 weeklies coming in I still like this uh, snow uh, for tomorrow it took out the 32 traded all the way up to 38 and change uh, this thing starts building tomorrow you could see 350 uh, very very uh, good looking chart as well and here is you know again here's the memes right you know nobody makes fun of the memes we make nobody makes fun of the memes let's be nice uh, so BBBY 2380 24 needs to build there's a sneaky area there on the 60 minute view 2480 becomes a big daily spot this has a January call buyer coming in for the 80 calls that's not a misprint so here was here was BBBY right here is the sneaky pivot I was talking about right here this 2380.24 it took that out took out 2480 and went almost to uh, 27 after hours just an, just incredible move just absolutely incredible move on BBBY uh Nvidia never obviously got down to the 271 level but I will be watching Nvidia for the next couple of days uh, and if this thing confirms uh, the macro channel this thing will go and it will go uh, very very aggressively so that's it right that's it we got a good market we got a bull market we got whatever you want to call it the most important thing is it looks like there's something there for everyone uh, the most important part is don't get blinded by the lights you know don't get you know excited about the euphoria trade every single trade based on your comfort level and if you're not comfortable don't put on the trade again you don't need to trade every single day you're just looking for value and executing based on technical analysis guys have a great night god bless and i will see you all tomorrow